In this example, we'll look at how Solid Edge handles large assemblies. One of the biggest issues when working on large assemblies is how much time it takes to open and load all of the parts. Solid Edge accommodates for this by giving the user full control of exactly how a large assembly is open using a variety of different tools. Tools such as Assembly Open As is one way in which users control how they optimize time to open, providing options to define the size of an assembly as well as the state of the parts when loaded. These options are fully customizable and lead to improved performance when working on assemblies of all sizes. Additionally, Solid Edge offers another great usability tool and a top level assembly filter that filters out all lower level assemblies and parts, greatly reducing the amount of time necessary to find the top level, especially when being viewed alongside other parts and sub-assemblies. The assembly we're working in today is from a Solid Edge customer, Donito. This cheese factory is one of their large factory layouts containing just under 13,000 parts with over 1,700 sub-assemblies. Altogether, over 700 megabytes of data. The computer we're working with today is a Microsoft Surface Pro 3 tablet device, not a CAD-specific workstation. We've optimized Solid Edge for opening large assemblies and notice how quickly we're able to get into our assembly and immediately begin work. No matter what system specifications or the size of the assembly that you're working with, Solid Edge provides the tools to utilize computer resources in the most efficient way. Of course, once the assembly is open, another very important aspect is working performance once it's on the screen. Solid Edge offers a great selection tool that allows us to select any parts based on their size in comparison to the rest of the assembly. The Select Parts by Size command is a great way to select small parts, such as nuts and bolts, and hide them all in one action. Once we've hidden the parts that we don't want showing, unloading them from the assembly is a simple process that frees up more system resources for the tasks at hand. Of course, in large assemblies, it's important to be able to work on the data specific to the task. And to help us focus on the shop floor machines, we'll simply use a display configuration, or a preset grouping of parts, to show only those important to us. Notice, many of the components on our machines seem very simple with little detail. That's because these machines have been simplified to cut out unnecessary details that leads to increased performance. Opening assemblies in their simplified state can reduce the opening time of large assemblies by as much as 75%. Of course, as always, Solid Edge gives users full control over which assemblies they want shown simplified and which they want shown in detail. So let's take a look at how simplified assemblies are created. Solid Edge provides users with a full set of modeling tools, so once you begin the simplification process, as many or few details as desired can be included in the resulting simplified assembly. One of the most efficient tools for creating a simplified assembly is the enclosure command, allowing users to simply click on the parts that make up the boundaries and define a simple shape to represent it. If we need to preserve specific geometry of the assembly, we can easily do so. Here, we need to keep the feet for placement purposes, but rather than simplify each one individually, we'll use the duplicate component command to quickly place the simplified versions of the feet all in one action. In addition to the display configurations to turn on and off specific assemblies and parts, Solid Edge also provides Zones, a tool that shows all components that lie within a defined area. Zones are also fully customizable, allowing for dynamic size changes to show whatever components you want within the desired working area. In addition to working in Zones once an assembly is open, the Solid Edge Open dialog allows users to select a specific zone when opening the assembly for the first time, making sure that only the components necessary for the work task are loaded. Of course, the less parts in a zone, the faster the open time. Another great time saver when working in large assemblies is the intelligence that Solid Edge brings when placing new parts into an assembly. Notice when we bring in the new machine, Solid Edge automatically recognizes that there is a simplified version and uses the simplified geometry to optimize performance. Once fully placed, we can easily turn on the design version of the assembly to see the full details. Our next design task has us making some changes to the packaging equipment on the factory floor. 
Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to search and isolate all of the parts with specific properties associated to them? Well, luckily for us, Solid Edge has a query tool that allows us to do advanced searches on any property within our assembly files. For this query, we'll simply search on packaging. Using our query quickly provides focus on the parts we need. For our design task, we need to increase the number of packaging machines to four. Solid Edge offers unique capabilities in assemblies to create exact copies of existing data. Here, we can simply select the machine to copy, click copy, or hold the control key, similar to copy in Microsoft Office products, and then drag it to a new location. When making copies of components, the copies originate from the location of the steering wheel, allowing for precision on placement with keyed in offset values, or even snapping to key points of other components. Several additional tools also exist in Solid Edge that help to increase performance when working with colleagues in the same assembly. The first is called Limited Update. Limited Update allows users to both limit which parts are loaded when opening, as well as updated when working in a specific area of an assembly. This allows system resources to be directed to the areas of the assembly pertinent to the design task. Additionally, the Component Tracker tool is used to track the assembly and provide a full readout of the statuses of all of the parts, ensuring designers have the most current data when limited update is turned on. And of course, once done in 3D, Solid Edge provides great tools to be able to create drawings of the assemblies, with options to bring in individual subassemblies only, or to create drawing views of parts contained only in the display configurations or zones we looked at earlier. No extra work is required to display exactly what is needed. Combine that with Solid Edge's ability to leverage multi-core processors when placing drawing views, and Solid Edge proves why it's the king of drawings. Solid Edge provides you with all the tools you need to work more efficiently in assemblies, whether 13,000 parts or even 2.5 million. Solid Edge. Design better.